Jesus has won throughout our lives, do not arrive with death, confident that God all your limbs would be have done and forgives our sins, let us pray and ask for God to gather and toss into himself. Lord, in our grief, return to you. Are you not a God of love who open your ears to all? Listen to our prayers and your servant tossing. You call out this word, lady of your kingdom, light and peace, and count to the the saints in glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. A 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I've gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. And you know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Be seated now for just a minute or two, please. The loss of a loving husband, dad, brother, granddad, great granddad, friend, or neighbour can leave. It's a great loss, it leaves a huge emptiness in the lives of loved ones that nothing, nobody can fill or replace. So we gather as a, as a magisterial, as a faith community around the Lord's table this morning, and we draw strength from our own faith, our Christian faith, that is such a support to us in our lives, and we ask the Lord, as I mentioned, to reward and toss him and welcome him into the fullness of life, and we pray for consolation and peace for Kathleen and all the family. I suppose the death of a loved one too raises often raises big questions for us like what is life all about? Is this all there is? Is there life after death? And for people of faith, Jesus gives a very clear answer this morning in the gospel when he said to us, Let not your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, stay and trust in me. In my father's house there are many rooms. I go now to prepare a place for you, and after I've gone and prepared your place, I shall return to take you with me. And then Thomas said, and he said, you know the way to the place I'm going. And Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And Jesus words, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. And thus he walked the way of the Lord during his life, through his love of God and of his neighbor. We pray this morning that he will now take his place in the room in the Father's house prepared for him. And as I mentioned already, we pray for peace and consolation and hope for Kathleen and all the family. There's great consolation and hope in the readings the family shows, the beautiful readings, that lovely image in the, in the first reading, can a mother forget her own baby or forget about the child in her womb, even if she could forget, and a mother couldn't forget her own baby, even if she did, the Lord says, I will never forget you. I've written your name on the palm of my hand. It's a lovely image, I love it. One of the loveliest passages in the Old Testament to remind us of the great love and compassion of the Lord for all of us. And then the second reading, think of the love of the Father who's lavished in us, but letting us be called God's children. That is what we are. And so on. Um, and then the Gospel, of course, Jesus is telling us he's gone ahead of us to prepare a place for us. So these are very consoling and helpful thoughts on an occasion like this, especially when we're saying goodbye to someone we love. And it's, it's lovely to have that awareness, that mercy and the consolation and the love of God for all of us, especially for Tossi, but for all of us as well in our sad times. And Mary, the mother of Jesus, was very aware too of grief. She lived, it out, she lived through it in her life as she stood by the cross as her son died. So, she knows the grief you're feeling today, and she'll be there to help you through it as well. Just a word about Tossie's life. He was born in Pierstown, just out of the end of our parish here, on May the 4th, 1936. His parents were Peter and Peg. He went to school here locally in Cartown. After leaving school, he went to work in Sherman's Garage in Kells, where he served his time as a mechanic. And on the 12th of June, 1957, he married Kathleen Bennett after many to dance in the Beach Mount Ballroom in Navin. Later, alongside his brother Colin, they formed the Blue Shadows show band, travelling to local halls and dance halls all over the area. And they were a great popular band at the time. 
but as well as that, Tossi had a day job which was doing the milk round and delivering milk to his customers in the area. And later on in life, he gave that up and drove a long distance lorry for several years until he retired. So he lived a long, a very full, and very busy life. He was a very proud supporter of the wee team and loved football and loved to attend all the matches. He was a man of great wit and humour, with a, a joke in the arm always to be told. He loved the company of especially younger people, his grandchildren and great grandchildren, whom he idolised. And in recent weeks, Tosti had celebrated their 64th wedding anniversary, which was a wonderful achievement. And <coughs> it's sad that this has happened so soon after that. I'm not sure Kathleen feels all of that at the moment. We pray that she would be consoled during this sad time. Tony was also an avid gardener who paid special attention to, the, to his beloved roses. So he was a man with the green fingers and they're always, that's always a great talent and gift to have. He was a great husband, a loving husband to Kathleen and loving dad and grandparent to his children and grandchildren. So Tommy Tossie lived a full life, a very active life for all those years. Unfortunately, in more recent years, he suffered from ill health in the last 20 years. Much of that time he spent in his wheelchair, which is a, a great handicap to have to live with, but he coped with that very well with the support of Cathy and all the family who looked after him 24-7 with the greatest of love and care and attention. More recently he was a patient who took a residence in the Beaufort nursing home in Avon, where he passed away peacefully last Friday evening. So we pray this morning that the that the Lord will welcome him into the fullness of life, as was mentioned already, and reunite him with his parents and all his old friends. And we pray for Kathleen and all the family that they will have peace and consolation. So may the martyrs come to welcome and toss you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem, where Lazarus is poor no longer. May you find eternal rest and peace. We invite Georgia now and Andrew and Eve and Kier to come forward and lead us in prayer.
Remember your servant Tossie, when you called out of this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in the death of my days may also be one with him in his resurrection, and from the earth will raise up in the flesh those who have died, and transform our holy bodies <coughs> after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing from this life, give kindly to see your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, and you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we should be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So we'll all stand now and say together the great prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, and it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, and in the reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have grant us peace. So we'll all need now for a moment. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only said, Lord, and my soul shall be healed.
bitter poem that my sister wrote in Australia for Grandad. Grandad, although we were not ready to let you go, your special wings were aglow. When people ask why you died, we shall tell them you were tired. Today is the day you went away, but your memory will forever stay. Your smile lit up the room, your laugh filled our hearts. Your friendships will be treasured, we'll miss you beyond measure. Our yellow robe is so beautiful and unique, for you our hearts will weep. You have drifted to eternal sleep, our love for you will always run deep. And now that rose is full of joy and delight, has become our yellow star in the darkest of night. Sleep tight, Pops.
is that the heavens of the Holy Spirit that we have incense as his coffin and the rest of the holy water. Our response to the prayers is receive his soul and present him to God the most high. Receive his soul and present him to God the most high. Saints of God come to his aid, hasten to meet the angels of the Lord, receive his soul and present him to God the most high. May Christ call you take to himself. May the angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the most high. Eternal rest granted to him, O Lord, and let perpetual life shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the most high. Into your hands, Mother, mercy and commend to us here. In the sure and certain hope that together with all who died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for all the blessings that you bestowed on Tossi in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of the fellowship of the saints in Christ. Mercy of the Lord, who turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, and help us to remain to comfort one another with the assurance of the faith, till we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother Tossi forever.